Greetings kinsmen. Today's video is going to be a real short one. So today we are going to seal up the canvas and of course the door. These are kitchen gloves. You can get them for like two bucks at just about anywhere. And these are my go-to gloves. They're perfect for any kind of chemical or harsh substance that you just don't want on your hands. Which means I'm not a fan of the nitrile or the latex gloves. Those will not hold anything back. And it will get on your skin and into your bloodstream. And that's a whole host of problems you don't want anything a part of. So now I'm applying the tongue oil and I'm rubbing it into the wood. And it's going to take two or three coats at least. And you're going to have to constantly go back and re-wet your rag. And you got to use a rag. A brush or a roller just isn't going to do it. Reason being is that you don't want to go on, on too thick. Uh, thick coatings won't dry nearly as fast or at all. I've had some coatings that just remain sticky forever. Past projects I'd have to strip that old sealant off and sand it off and it was just hours and hours and hours of work to remove that sealant. You don't want that. So nice thin coats with a rag. We're going to leave our door drying in the garage and we're going to head outside and unroll our canvas. And it didn't take long for the leaves to gather so make sure those are off before you start spraying. What I have here is just a power sprayer that I got from a discount tool store. You know which one. And I'm sealing it up with Thompson's water seal. Now originally I swore by it, it was good but after a year the stuff still remained oily, so it's not ideal. Right now I have to run over and refill the bottle. I had to do this very, very regularly. I had to go through about three to four gallons of this Thompson's water seal in order to seal up to all of the canvas, and that's not a lot of canvas. I have just recently resealed it with boiled linseed oil and mineral spirits. Do a 50-50 mixture and it solidifies after about three days as good as I need it and it's just great it's perfect and we'll see how long that lasts if it's as good as I'd want it to be then it should be much cheaper than Thompson's water seal and of course much more effective quick note about sealing up the roof uh, you want to do both sides of course spray one side then flip it over spray the other side but you also want to spray the inside of it this is going to take the majority of the moisture of course it's rain it's coming down through the top And here you see how I packed it into my four-door little monster rocket. I took out all the seats. That's right, all the seats, passenger seats and the back seats. If you notice, underneath my pillow and my lunch bag is the yurt. That's the frame and the door. That's all the way down to the bottom. This is why I needed it to be two feet in total width so it'll fit inside this monster. And this is it, all set up at Picoline. It's 10 foot in diameter, and it's already gone through some pretty heavy rains at this point. It's about midweek. Threw down some straw, nice and comfortable. And as you can tell, there's not a whole lot of room, but it's extremely versatile. As I'll point out throughout this little tour. The roof ring has seen better days, and I have an episode coming up how I fixed that and made it much better. And it's versatile in the sense that I can rig up lines to dry up my clothes. As it got sweaty or wet or whatnot, I could hang a light. This is an interesting little idea. I made a kind of lantern light out of Christmas lights in there, and it's going down and over to a jump box, as you can see here. All I gotta do is just plug in this power inverter. Bam. And I just plug it in and it turns on the lights. So I got some lighting in there. Got a shelf to the left. A little mirror there so I can check myself out before I leave. And the door handle, the rope idea did not work. So I just put a peg in it and I'm fixing that later in another episode. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button. And don't be afraid to leave a comment below to share your thoughts, advice, and questions. If this has helped you in any way, buy me a horn of meat on my Ko-Fi or head over to my Patreon. If every sub gives just a dollar a month, our projects will become more epic and our stories legendary. I also have my own merch, so you can show your love for the channel and look good doing it. But more importantly, be humble, be helpful, and be honorable.